Hey guys, it's that time of year again where you have to get your inspection done and it's also windy, so I'm sorry about that. But um, one of the things that in this car, what sort of uh, controls whether you get um, a good emissions is um, this hose right here, which heats up the catalytic converter by pulling air from this uh, exhaust manifold getting it through this tube and as you can see it's falling apart on me and it goes through and uh, connects to your uh, air, uh, air intake box right here so it pulls the air in from there like that under the fan shroud through this long hose now mine is completely done so here's the new one it comes like this and we're just gonna have to like pull it extend it out and uh, install it in here so Let's see how we uh, get that done. Okay, so for the first part, I'm just gonna try to yank this thing off right here. All right, that was much easier than expected, actually. And then take you around to this other side right here. Hopefully my tripod will hold. And this one is nothing to take off here. It's just completely gone. Now there is a little, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little latch down here, right here, on my thumb on it. And uh, you basically pull it and squeeze that thing through. It's still a little tight in there, just make sure it doesn't cut up the battery cord uh, wire. Then I'm going to go back around to the other side and just see if I can snake it through it's old and it's sharp and dirty so watch out for the edges they're quite sharp sorry so here it is in its all its glory big long tube pose thing and uh, now we're just gonna take this new one and we're gonna stretch it and uh, Sorry about that angle. Straight. Alright, so here we have this new one. We're just gonna pull it apart like that until it gets nice and long. To, to the, hopefully, it's a little bit longer than what we need. It's kind of like aluminum foil in a bit, in a way. And you can see that we got more than enough length here. It's already stretched out to more than we need. And then we go back to this side over here, and you know, I've already sort of done this. But this is not like, a, it doesn't feel like a, like it was very well thought out, I gotta tell you. It just feels very, um, very bootleg to be honest. There's nothing securing it under the um, shroud either. It looks like it could just hit the steering pump. So, yeah, I'm not very happy about this whole heater hose system. It's very, it's, I, I can't think of any other word, but bootleg is like really the only word that comes to mind. See like how badly it crimps it over here? Supposedly that's gonna hold it, I don't know doesn't look like there's anything to secure it under the shroud at all and this looks like with the vibration of the engine and wear and tear it's just gonna rip it right off so I don't know but um, that's pretty much how you install it I would honestly maybe remove this clamp and um, stretch it with with your hands or with the pliers and then get it on because this is not it almost is like you're ripping it when you're installing it. And this doesn't look too secure either. So to be honest, it's very... But that's that. Let's just start the engine, see how it runs. Car is filthy. Yes, I know. I'm about to clean it before I take it for an inspection. Started right up. It's not hitting the pump or anything, steering pump. It's just running. And I guess it's sucking hot air in at this point. 
It's only supposed to open a flap right here when it's actually cold. And I don't think it's that cold for this thing to even function right now. Some people wouldn't take that three heater hose off. But it's an OEM part. It's supposed to be on there. So that's it. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And I'll uh, see you guys soon. Just here in a little kids park while waiting for my car's uh, inspection to go through. And uh, I was thinking it's an interesting definition of parks we have now today where most of the park is just covered with concrete. <laughs> this is like the whole park. This Only this tiny little area has a little bit of plant and greenery in it. The rest is just covered like this in concrete, like most of it. And we call these parks, I don't know, something funny to me because uh, going up, I, growing up I would go to Casino Park, which is, uh, it's further from here, but not so far, seven blocks or so. But uh, it has this wild area that's in, what's called the wild area, but it's just covered in trees and grass and paths, which is I think the only park like that in the entire city of New York, as far as I know. But it's, uh, it's covered in trees and grass and plants. Whereas, and that's, to me, that's an actual park. So this is just like, you know, this is uh, not a park. But it's still nice to have little areas like this. Anyway, that's my rant. Now I'm gonna go ahead at McDonald's, because I'm hungry. <laughs> it's a sweet uh, BMW 8i, just parked in the street at a no parking spot. It's really nice. I like that hood, hood scoop thing going on there. Pretty sweet. Um, it's a $140,000 car. Parked in a no parking spot. I feel like it could... Look at that. That's beautiful design. I love that. From the back. Beautiful car. You don't see them too often because, you know, they're, they're pretty expensive. But it's pretty awesome. Love it. Beautiful. I don't know if I would risk it at parking at a no parking zone though. And there, I don't know if you can tell, but that's my car in the middle already. Undergoing inspection. Sweet. So, should be done soon, hopefully. Just gonna go grab some uh, Mickey D's over there across the street and come back.